Hey guys, what's up? It's Bo, and today I'm going to show you how to get this shadow effect that you see right here in your Windows 7 taskbar. Now, it's actually pretty easy. It's done with some software that I found on DeviantArt uh, called Taskbar Drop Shadow. Now, as you see here, uh, there's a little shadow on the taskbar, um, and it works like that, and it looks like that, and it it can look pretty, it looks, it looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, this either he has a skin or that's actually Windows Vista so I suppose it is for Windows Vista as well and I think it might even be for XP I don't think that you absolutely need Windows 7 for this to work so in order to download it you're gonna go to this this link right here that I'll paste in the video description for you and you're gonna scroll down and let's see where is it where do you download this thing oh yeah right here sorry Right on the right hand side, uh, you're going to see download file, click that, I couldn't even find it for a second because, you know, I'm kind of blind. i um, going to close this, going to extract, you don't need 7-zip or WinRAR, you can just uh, do extract all. And if you want to take a look at the instructions, they're actually pretty useful, they help me around um, and they help me get to know the program a little bit better, so I recommend checking that out. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you how to use this. So. If you have your taskbar on the bottom, you're going to double click on bottom taskbar shadow. If you have it at the top, you're going to click on top taskbar shadow. So let's say if uh, I had it on the top, the shadow would appear as you see right here it does. Um, but I don't have my taskbar on the top, so I'm not going to use it like that. I'm going to click on bottom. And as you see right here, it looks pretty nice. If you want to change your settings, let's say you have small icons checked in the taskbar and start menu properties it's not gonna follow it as you see here it's gonna be floating above it so if you want it uh, fixed uh, to your personal width and height uh, for your taskbar then you're gonna right click the shadow and you're gonna go to preferences and for the you're, you're gonna click shadow and you can configure everything uh, right now I already kind of fiddled with it, but as far as I know, from what I've uh, seen from this software, if you want to bring it down, you just bring the the sharpness up a little bit until you basically get it to a spot that you like. And uh, of course, you you know you can do the X and Y axis if you want. I just did the sharpness; it's just up and down, and you can change the darkness if you want. So we got to click close. You can change the hue shift. Uh, I didn't see a difference whenever I moved it around at all. I didn't see any difference in anything. Um, so, yeah, yeah, no difference. Um, accessibility, if you want to uh, access the options from the taskbar, you check taskbar. If you want to run it at the system tray, if you, if you want to see a system tray icon, you select that. Or you can select none. Um, Z order, okay, this is important. For some reason, mine's always on the top because I was messing with it. Uh, if yours is always on the top, as you see right here, uh, the shadow will take, it will be over every window. You don't want it like that, I'm sure. So you're going to put it on desktop level. And uh, that way, if you when you restart the program, it, will, um, it won't be above everything and it won't make things uh, look bad. So going to click OK and you can also tell it to run automatically when Windows starts. I'm only just, I only downloaded this to show you guys I'm probably not actually going to use it. So then I click OK and then I'd restart it and as you see uh, the shadow does not go over the window and it actually looks pretty nice. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Thanks for watching. Bye.